St. Simon's Island is one of the many barrier islands hugging the coast of Georgia. Its rich and sometimes tragic history stretches back to the original colonization of America. Important events have been passed down through generations in the form of folklore and legend. Artist Dee Williams has captured one of the most famous of these legends, the legend of Ebo Landing. As the story goes, almost 200 years ago, a group of Africans arrived by ship to St. Simon's Island, Georgia. Well, they were destined to end their days here in a life of slavery, working the cotton plantations of the island. But as they came ashore, they chose instead to die, drowning in the salty waters of Dunbar Creek, chained together, rather than submit to a life of slavery. By chance, the ill-fated assemblage included their chief. His resolve impelled the group to make their desperate decision. Survivors were taken onto the plantation at Cannon's Point, but the story was preserved forever in legend. The artist talks about her expression of the event. For more to research, I was going to the library and, and any input that I could find that I could use in the painting to represent the different tribes and cultures so it would show more of the effect that it had on, on every aspect, you know, of the African tribes and their culture with slavery in the South, not just the Igbo tribe. It was the chief's idea, and because he, I guess it was a tribe, they were together, they listened to what he said without question. So they, he decided to commit suicide, and he took everybody with him. They were all chained together. The chains, if you notice, they all, I tried to connect them all with this chain. You see, hold it all together. They started becoming more personal, you know, as they, their characters grew. I tried to give them all kind of a, all their own character, their own personality. She's like pushing everybody on, you know? She's like the force behind everything. And I made them a couple. And this is a religion. She's calling out God. I don't usually do things deliberately. I look at them and I go, oh yeah or that reminds me of something, or I'm going to do this with it, you know? I usually don't consciously do something. I just bounce off of it, ideas. And he is submissive to him. So anyway, that's the way I felt it. And he's just letting him lead him on. This is mother and child, you know, mother and daughter. Now, of course, he's given up very desperate despair. Uh, the last thing I did was the patterns. Oh, I just made myself stop. Today a bridge spans the bank of Dunbar Creek, but the tide still ebbs and floods, and seabirds still fish in its waters. It is said, if you listen in a still night, you can hear the clinking of the chains and the chants of the doomed Africans, as they say, the sea brought me, and the sea shall take me home.